Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Saad and you're watching Math Lead by Saad. This is a channel where I make videos on O-Levels and IGCSE Math and A-Level Math and videos like these and Ad Maths, I think I didn't mention that. And videos like these to help you navigate through your academic journey. So if you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribing. And by the end of this video, if you get value out of it, then make sure to share it with your friends, classmates, and whoever you think can possibly benefit from it. So today we're gonna to be talking about some of the most common mistakes that students make in A-Levels due to which they end up compromising their grades and ultimately due to which they don't end up getting into the university of their choice because whether you like it or not the main thing that universities look for are your grades yes there are some universities outside of pakistan and even outside of pakistan there are some very few universities that look for extracurricular activities and you know they take everything into account and your personal statement and everything and then give you admission but the single most common deal breaker even in that case are your grades okay so just make sure whatever you do you don't end up compromising your grades so mistake number one mistake number one is too much extracurricular activities basically biting off more than they can chew okay we're talking about students here you guys here so a lot of times i've noticed that students who in o levels were not given the chance to participate or maybe they were in a school that didn't really have a lot going on or maybe they did it privately where they did not get a lot of opportunities and now in a levels you know there are so many events so many sports events and social events and everything and now they just want to make sure that they get a piece of everything which is understandable obviously because you you want to make sure that you make up for the lost time but the thing is you have to make sure that you don't ultimately end up compromising your grades you have to make sure that you pick and choose the events that are relevant so maybe you can do a balance of participating in one sport and maybe one event which is related to your academics and maybe one event which is not entirely related to academics so you got to make sure that you don't exhaust yourself and you don't bite off more than you can chew so understand what your capacity is understand what your limitations are and then decide accordingly now now, mistake number two and this is the most common and i'm still surprised that even to this day with so much information available students still end up making this mistake and that is not doing enough research about universities and what tests they have to give so if you're in pakistan and you want to go to a medical university or an engineering university you have to give the test you have to give the mdcat test and if you want to go to an engineering university so most of the engineering universities have their own tests so they don't realize and they just think that it's just that they have to appear for the exams for the a-level exams and that would be it that's not it you have to give entrance tests and you have to prepare for entrance tests as well the sooner you realize that the sooner you can start preparing and the more chances you have of getting into the university of your choice and you know a lot of universities require equivalency also and a lot of students are unaware a lot of students that i speak to are unaware of what equivalency is and how they should get it made so as soon as you're in a levels as soon as you start as you should start researching about your universities okay because obviously it's not likely that you will get into the university of your choice i mean i hope you do but you gotta have backup plans also not just one backup plan but multiple backup plans so start researching maybe the university you want to go to doesn't require you to give the sat exam maybe it does maybe it requires you to have certain subjects or a certain number of subjects so the sooner you start researching the better it is so that you can plan accordingly if you have to take an extra subject you have enough time for that if you have to prepare for some test like sat or if you have to prepare for any other entrance test you have time for that so if you haven't started just start right now so that you know exactly where you're headed and what you need to do in order to get to the university of your choice mistake number three is that they think it's going to be easy like o-levels now i teach o-levels and a-levels and i'm going to be very honest with you guys that if in o-levels let's say you've messed up the whole year and you get serious in the last three four five months and given that you have a good base you're you overall have been an average or above average student that's enough time for you to get a decent grade and you know i'm talking about a um, sometimes even a star but it's enough time for you to get an a or you can end up with a b comfortably by just studying in the last four or five months okay given that you have a strong base and you've been an average or above average student throughout but you cannot afford to do that in a levels with a levels there's something about a levels that time just flies and before you know it it's mid-year's time and before you know it it's mocks and then all of a sudden you have your cia exam so just make sure that you don't start a levels with the same o level mentality a lot of students think that you know in o levels we had eight or nine subjects now we just have three four so that means we can mess around and study in the last four or five months that's not how it works just make sure that you are up to speed 
from day one you're regular you don't miss classes you do all the assignments all the homework so that there is not a lot of lag because if things start piling up then the procrastination element will kick in and before you know it you'll fall behind to a point where you won't even feel like you have the strength to catch up then mistake number four is basically students don't take care of their health now i have never been able to understand why not taking care of their health or why being completely out of shape or out of routine has glorified this you know oh i was up all night oh i'm so stressed oh i have so much going on i didn't eat for the past two days is i mean why would you do that why would you not take care of yourself i mean this is the only body that you have the only mind that you have so you want to make sure that you keep it in the best shape possible so that you are capable of taking on bigger challenges just because you have like a challenge ahead does not mean that you should stop taking care of yourself you should be getting exercise you should be getting enough sleep on the side you should be doing some light reading also you know just to take your mind off academics it's important but just make sure that you are in the best shape possible or it may be if not in the best shape just make sure that you are sleeping on time and you are at least keeping track of your health now the last mistake that i want to talk about is that a lot of a level students not just during a levels but after even getting into university don't really learn any skills on the side that they can monetize now let's be honest education is getting expensive day by day and parents are obviously finding it difficult to fund especially if they have like two three kids to fund their child's education without compromising it so you got to make sure that you are able to not afford your education entirely by yourself but maybe you know be able to take care of the other expenses that you have on the side like maybe you can buy your own clothes or maybe you can pay for all the travel that you have to do so for that it's important that you learn skills that you can monetize okay now there are so many skills that you can learn as a level students i mean look around you i'm sure there are already students who are doing so but uh, just make sure that these are skills which can be learned remotely and can also be offered remotely so for example my team members although it's all academic most of the work that i do but my team members some of them are in lahore some of them are in hyderabad and uh, it's all remote work so nobody has to like show up a lot of my team members are university students all the work that i assign to them they can do whatever they have the time and there's no formal reporting the work hours are not fixed but yes they have a skill which i appreciate and that is what i pay them for so just like that look around you ask people who are working what are the skills that they've learned how they've learned and how they're offering them some of the skills i think that you can learn are video editing video editing i think is a great skill to have especially in this day and age along with that you can be a content writer you can be a social media manager you can learn web development now i'm not saying that you learn these skills and become like a pro at it but at least start learning these skills so that you can gradually polish them and reach a point where somebody can pay you for your services so the sooner you realize this the sooner you start doing this the better it is i mean gone are the days where parents would wait for their children to graduate so that they can then get a good job and then start earning you know those days are gone that's in the past now as soon as i think you start a levels you should also think about earning money while at the same time not compromising your grades okay so your top priority are your grades and if at any point you feel like because of so and so thing your grades are getting compromised and just let go of it and focus on your academics so yeah that's it i hope this video helped let me know what your thoughts are let me know if you'd like to add something in the comment section that's it for this one fellas i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye